Today, we're going to be reading The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things, like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires, I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg, a very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was go as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. I had to change. I had, I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shel Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, the days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there on the road, under the stars, I tried to focus on myself and what I really needed. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, I wrote in my journal, I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out, I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, it's kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. 
here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, but I don't have to be perfect too. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. The end. I hope that you liked listening to the book, The Good Egg.